We are live. Okay. Live. Yeah, let's come here. We gotta say hey to the public. This is y'all's first, first appearance. Okay. Uh, I like he's putting his elbow pads on. Yeah, hold the like elbow pads. It's like I okay. can't look like no outlaw. Right. Here, bullet. You gotta hold my gimmick. Okay, while well, I put my jacket okay. on. Okay, I'll hold okay. your grandbaby. Oh, yeah. Did you just call the gimmick? That's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, this is, oh, yeah, oh. yeah, this this is completely comfortable for me. <laughs> Look at bullet. This is completely comfortable. I want to start crying. This Mike Lee. Is... Bull, bull, bullet's holding my gimmick. Every... Look, Dark Journey. Bullet's holding my gimmick real good. See? Okay, look. Oh, I'm sure this is against some child labor law, but. Yeah, a lot. But... <laughs> I hope this is filming too. This is great. I love that. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, I love that. Like yeah, Actually, the front of okay. house, like in the Hangover. Actually, we'll just do that. I, I like how you yeah. put it. A uh, constant dilemma okay. on me okay. is that I have to hold the baby and your baby. No, see, and your grandbaby. We'll, we'll just we'll just do the opening and then uh, and then I'll, I'll I'll hand them to our uh, uh, prop designer. Please. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. Now, now, now Dallas, uh, here, I'm gonna let you know when I do the intro. You're supposed to clap like crazy. Okay. Which means you, you go clap like crazy. So when I said, ladies and gentlemen, you, you, you'll get it. You'll get it. You'll get it. When Papa Chris, claps, you clap. Chris is shaking hands like some outlaw. Oh my God. You don't shake hands in training. He sees us every day. Yeah. The actual's get ready to open up the DVD. He's only, he's only better than you do. <laughs> That's a pretty good DVD, ain't it? Okay. All right. Now, we, then when we. When we Raise your hand. Oh, you'd think he'd watched our show, but he ain't watched yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bully, you look very comfortable there for some reason. Holding right. my gimmicks. Okay? I'm, my gimmicks. I'm a good actor. Okay. This all right. is our highest rated show. Okay, here, here we, we go. go. Here we go. Yeah, let's get ready. Ladies and gentlemen, okay, welcome to your dad who don't work right. you wrestle. Yeah. You're in the class. You know what time it is. Oh, man. George, how was your weekend? Boy, unbelievable. Boy, you thank say you, that sir. again. Folks, <laughs> you know it's the holiday season. Don't turn the channel. It's not the Criswolds Christmas. It is uh, the B uh, Bullet South Christmas, go uh, Thanksgiving going into Christmas. Uh, folks, uh, do not adjust your television screen. This is the whole clan here, the whole yep. South family, okay? And and uh, the one uncle that came in to the Criswolds uh, that lived in the camp. This is Tracy's mother showing up. <laughs> the Armstrong family, right? Yeah. <laughs> Here's the Armstrongs plus Tracy Smothers wishing you a happy, happy Thanksgiving, okay? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I think we're goofy. The people won't buy just goofy. But anyway, we're so glad to be here. Folks, uh, do not uh, just hold your breath for a minute. Get up, go fix the sandwich, and come right back. Uh, I want to introduce this is Dallas. Of course, Dallas. He'll be making his second debut uh, soon uh, at the C.C. Griffin Middle School. And, of course, first time ever, folks. Right here, he's giving me like, you're an idiot, Pawpaw. Look, this is Axel South. Right here, mm -hmm. first impression. Axel, look at, look at Daddy right there. But <laughs> he stared at me. But anyway, uh, anyway, uh, this is live TV. Actually, there you go. There, very good. And Just don't drop my DVD. He, <laughs> he is a great prop holder for the best of Jake Manning DVD, okay? And Dallas is holding the greatest water in the world. So, uh, uh, oh, <laughs> Axel... <laughs> Axel likes Tracy Smothers, okay? <laughs> uh, anyway, we just want to uh, hear uh, one big family. This may be the new Christmas card. Folks, we want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving and a Merry Christmas before we get into the show. So, Dallas, let's say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And Happy Thanksgiving. Axel, can you say Happy Thanksgiving? No, he ain't learned. He ain't learned. Okay. Uh, but say, tell everybody hi. Happy Thanksgiving. We, we got to give it to our prop set designer, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's very Michael Jackson-ish holding his kid out the window. That's all I'm saying. Here, here goes. That, 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 Dallas, <laughs> happy Thanksgiving. Okay. Okay. Oh, he thinks he... Oh, we've got to take it back. Okay. And, tell, okay. and for those okay. of you who don't know, the, yeah. the Jake Manning DVD is a great chew toy. <laughs> so if you got a kid okay. that's teething, tell everybody, it's uh, say, Oh, I hurt my back. Tell everybody bye. Okay, I'm going to hand you off to the prop designer. Okay? Okay. Uh, uh, oh, Boy, he's a lot. <laughs> yeah, that hurt my back. Okay, all right, folks, we are right back uh, live, and what a great holiday greeting. But listen, I know this don't mean much now, uh, but but one day I'm gonna be in a nursing home, and nobody's gonna come around, and my grandbabies ain't gonna know who I am because they're gonna be like working for WWE somewhere, and I'm gonna be stuck in a nursing home with with a bunch of old women, and I'm gonna show them this uh, and prove that I was somebody at one time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, uh, that, or we're going to show you this to remind you who you are. <laughs> one of the other. Oh, I love that, too. Oh, I love that. Oh, I will never forget 
where I come from, folks, because there's going to be a constant reminder of uh, who we are. But thank you for spending this uh, holiday moment with me. Absolutely. Uh, very, very, very nice, and I, and I will try not to curse on this program. <laughs> it's been a couple weeks since the last <laughs> instance. Oh, I tell you. There was a while where we had <laughs> yeah. years, but then we erased the, 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 oh, the board where well. it says we're days without incidents, and we're now <laughs> moved away from oh, it. Oh, yeah, a like a, work, a workplace accident, okay? Yes. We, we have been... Uh, Dropping the uh, F-bomb yeah, and then you're Yeah, we've it's been two here. weeks without the F-bomb. Yeah. Uh, folks, anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. So much going on, folks. Getting ready for Thanksgiving. Uh, don't worry about the football game because there ain't going to be no football. Cowboys are like the worst team in the history. Boy, and it hurts me. It pains me to say that. But, Lord, when a team goes for three two-pointers just to rub it in your face and they get it, you, you know you're bad. I mean, you know you're bad. One, anyway, so I uh, didn't mean to get on that tear about the NFL. Uh, but, Lord, I, listen, all I know is I'm going to start taking a knee in protest to a team being so bad. That's what I'm saying. Look at Axel in the ring for the first time. A little emotional here, bullet. A little emotional. Okay? Brother, look at him. He moves like me. He can already do a splash. But anyway, <laughs> uh, boy, so much going on. I want to thank uh, our buddy Chris real quick this past week. Uh, Saul Mills, he, we ran again. Bullet up there. 200 people in this place. Unbelievable. So just a great, uh, just a great event. Uh, thank him again. And he's looking to... Um, I think run again uh, 1st of December, and I'm hoping to help them out there. So a lot of stuff going on. Bullet. This week, we'll be together a, a lot, right? Uh, uh, Russell Kate. Uh, yes. Russell Kate, yes. I, thank you. Are you be so, my now, the question is, are you going to be sleeping at your gimmick table again this year? Yes. Okay. So what uh, what's so funny? People think, I've had people offer me money. I've had people offer to buy me a room. But I want to be there. I mean, seriously. You know, I, I, that, I'm not in pain. I mean, I want to be when everybody leaves and it's you got mine. A roof over your head. Oh yes. It, it, there's oh, there's heat on in there. Listen, I got more. That, that's why I love this week because I actually get to turn the heat on. I actually get to feel what heat feels like this week of WrestleCade. Yeah. Okay, because uh, back at the South uh, Back Cave, I don't even know where the, the switch is. Boy, there ain't even no heat. So anyway, uh, I look. Don't, folks, don't feel sorry for this homeless guy. This homeless guy's doing okay. Well, I'm telling you, you know the, what I'm first, the first time I told that to Cole Cabana that you sleep at your giving table at WrestleCade. He's like, are you sure he's okay? I mean, I got room. Yes. Room in my room. Bless and, his heart. And, and he's like, no, that's where he wants to be. <laughs> and then I saw this look in Colt's face where he's like, oh, gosh. <laughs> he's, he's about his gimmick table. He had this feeling of like, I should I should be that carny. <laughs> like he had this feeling that somebody had outdid him. Oh, yeah. At the level oh, of gimmick oh, sales. Oh, oh. You know? Because it's like, now you've moved up to the level of Jimmy Valiant. Yes. And he's just like, I have so much further to go. Yes. Uh, in my level we're, of we're giving our buddy call. He, he's getting that. Uh, he's got that a benchmark to work towards. It's like it's uh, like when I find out somebody, you know, like all the people in New York and Atlanta comedy. They like, oh, I go up on uh, and do comedy eight, nine times a week, and I'm like, oh, I only go up five. I need to do more. I need to do more. I need to do more. Then you get that urge. I need to do more. I need to do more. I need to do more. <laughs> well, I'm happy there. I mean, it's just a good four days of me, especially when everybody just clears out. And it's just you and, and that building, and you get to talk to you, you and your ring, get to reconnect uh, after a long uh, after a long year, and it's just a good time to reflect on how much I really hate wrestling. But that's a side point. Uh, so uh, just a great time. We have a lot going on. Uh, just announced uh, uh, Scott Hall, Kevin Nash going to be there. The, the list continues uh, to grow. I, I, I was very proud of myself for not calling nobody an idiot when they announced Kevin Nash, Scott Hall. First thing a lady said was, "Are they going to be in the Rumble?" I guess the, we got the, like the rumble going on. Are you kidding me? Uh, but anyway, so uh, I was proud of myself for not calling an idiot. So a lot of stuff going on. Uh, Bullet, this week, uh, I, I noticed that's the one I've been talking about. Yes. Bullet. I've been, I've been asked to, you know, promote it, so I, I figured you wouldn't but, mind. No, 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 no. Because no. the, the front of the Daddy Dorky Wrestle book, feel like it's prime <laughs> advertising space, showing that I'm doing absolute utmost to oh. make, make sure that people show up. On December second, yes. uh, we've in Salisbury, North Carolina, for JJ Jimmy Walker. So Folks, J JJ's uh, uh, Jimmy uh, JJ Jimmy, Walker's comedy blowout. You yes. can look that up directly on Facebook and everything. Uh, and folks, I'm real excited. I hope everybody comes out and support this because the next day, actually, uh, uh, JJ is actually going to be traveling down. Uh, to do a Christmas dinner uh, at our pastor gym where we've wrestled oh, several cool. times. So he's going to pick up a couple of days there, and, and I know J.J.'s pretty excited about that. So, uh, folks, it's just a great time to, 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 to meet him and, and, and just get a chance to meet him, get his autograph. But anyway, and, and for you, I'm so excited, boy. That is the first step in, if we can just cast him for police academy. That's the first step 
and that's getting this done, Bullet. Mm -hmm. So anyway, a lot going on, Bullet. Uh, uh, anything else this week? I know you got a lot. Uh, I have uh, a show tomorrow, which will probably be when this airs. I'll have a show tonight at the Evening News. When that, where this will come out probably on Wednesday. But Thanksgiving Eve, I have a show at the Evening News. And then I've got a ton of shows uh, throughout December, a ton of comedy shows coming up. I got a show December, I believe, 21st, 20, oh, 20th, 21st. All kinds of stuff. Just now, how is the big it. loop that you're planning? You know, where you want to actually do something like seven, like seven days in a row. I, I need to that... figure. I got to figure out my regular people what they're doing <laughs> and work around it. And plus, I just applied to a bunch of comedy festivals that are going to kind of fill out that calendar a little oh, bit better that. because they're going to give me three days in one spot as opposed to me driving to uh, Des Moines, then uh, Minneapolis the next day, then Kansas City the next day. <laughs> uh, do, do, so, do something where I'm like in Iowa City for three days, then do Davenport, then Kansas City, right, right. then Arkansas, you know? So make that a little bit uh, And Now, have we done, the? because uh, I'm keeping up with your career, are, have we done the big festival where they're actually... No, that's uh, in you're, February. You're, okay, that, yeah, that's very, coming. I'm going to know that schedule in December, what I'm going to be doing for that. So, uh, so okay. much going on, folks. Of course, uh, please remember our C.C. Griffin show coming up in a couple weeks for the here in uh, town, Concord, for the for the eighth grade kids. And also, uh, just got the posters in today. I'll have one hanging out next week for Seagrove, the big Seagrove Super Show coming up again. Mm -hmm. Bullet, uh, you know, that's where I always tater you with my... Uh, flying burrito forearm. And, and somehow, miraculous, I, I, I'm, I'm always unbooked that weekend. Uh, no. <laughs> somehow, I'm always available oh, that weekend. Oh, I got a, usually hey, Super Bowl weekend. That's part of the deal. I tell the softball team, if I can't work bullet, then uh, you ain't getting a match out of me. So, uh, of course, that'll be coming up. We have a lot of news about that coming up. That'll be, of course, always Super Bowl weekend, you know, right? February, February 3rd. 3rd. Yes, exactly. Super Bowl weekend. So, pretty excited about that. So, uh, a lot of stuff going on, bullet. If you don't mind, I will. I know your hands. Uh, uh, oh, thank you. We're good. Idiot of the week. But my favorite time of this great television show, uh, Bolt, this will be a quick one tonight. Uh, Bolt, everybody knows, you know, we got great wrestling schools here at Rings, George South Wrestling School, also the one that I've got going in Winston-Salem, so we've got a lot going on. There's opportunities for you to train. Uh, I have been doing better, and I'll try to do better next year, to actually answering emails and texts about the wrestling school. Uh, which is usually a waste of that, time. That doesn't mean he's going to be polite about it. No, exactly. He's so, not going to give a polite but I, answer. But after He'll, this he, one, he's just going to have more replies. Oh, yeah. But after this one, I'm never going to answer another one. So anyway, a guy bugged me for three days. Folks, this is a true story. This is a grown man. This is not a kid playing with his dad's laptop, uh, cell phone, uh, 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 VHS, play, nothing. Uh, this was a grown man. Asked me several If he was trying to communicate with a VCR, I'd be pretty yes. concerned. But he said several questions he asked me about our wrestling school. So I had a few minutes waiting on my uh, oven fresh Bojangle biscuit. It took him a little bit longer than, than uh, and I, uh, that's the lady that actually thinks I'm Hulk Hogan. And I've not told her I am, but I haven't told her I hadn't. So she hooks me up on the oven fresh biscuits. But anyway, so I'm waiting. So I thought, well, I got a few minutes. Be nice. Going into the holiday season, we just had the family here. Chris Walls and the Tracy Mothers. We just had the family here. Why not call this guy? But so I call him. I answer a few of his questions. Okay, things are going great, and then he had to open his mouth. Bullet. He told me, "Well, there's a problem." I went, oh my God. I said, "What's the problem?" Bullet. This grown man told me the problem is I don't have a ride. I said, "Excuse me." He said, "I don't have a car." Didn't you? I said, well, did you not have a car when you first contacted me? Did you, did you lose it in the process? So, boy, I was so proud of myself. I, 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 I was very calm, but I said, you need to get a horse then. Uh, anyway, so I'm done with it. But, but here's why he's going in the idiot bag. Okay. I, I, you know, I, I don't blame the guy if you don't have a car. You don't have a car. Yeah, it's a but situation. it's hard to, but, but listen to me. Today, this is what got him in the idiot bag. He actually texts me, please get rid of my number. He texts me and asks me what I mind when he started giving him a lift. Bullet, do you want me to take the bumps for you too? But now listen. So, but I just said, brother, uh, lose my number. Uh, I mean, seriously. Bullet, but has professional wrestling come to that point to where I think they do want us to take the bumps for him. I'm not sure, uh, Bullet, but... But it's hard to get sympathy for a grown man that doesn't have insurance in a car when my poor kids, and little George will aim me and that's off the camera, when they actually had to go out on their own and they had to purchase a car like every other person does and pay for their insurance and pay for the gas that goes in that car. So uh, there will be no sympathy here during the Christmas holidays. I'm just telling you that right now. So 
I'm just mad that I answered his stupid questions when I should have just called him an idiot and told him we couldn't help him. Well, you, you know, know what I'm saying? Here's the scary part, George. A lot of people that have been signed by the WWE in the last couple of years, most of those people didn't have cars. <laughs> Obviously didn't have car insurance, didn't have health insurance, uh, really had no place to live, had a hard time playing for the cell phone bill because all they wanted to do was professional wrestling themselves. Yes. And if they had anything, the parents gave it to them. Yeah, uh, very true. And, and I feel that, that I helped myself. I didn't go all out in my own wrestling career because I saw it as a situation of, okay, I need to secure a place to live right. and I need to secure transportation to get to the sh these shows so that way i'm not worrying about the idea of how i'm going to get to the shows and how right. am i going to eat uh feed and clothe myself right. but apparently that's the wrong way I, to go about saying, we've been doing it wrong that's that's you, oh. you can't because you, then you become a slave to paying those bills and then yeah. you're not focused completely on professional yeah. wrestling oh the only thing that you you have to be of any value is taking bumps and doing flips and right. and doing all the cool high spots and just focus solely on wrestling and not about paying your bills yeah Oh, because everybody awesome. that has been, I would say a good percentage of the people have been signed, all they cared about was professional wrestling yeah. and not paying their bills and having the means to do professional wrestling. And, they, and, so and, they, and in that sense, that, that is them making the ultimate sacrifice. Yes. Um, and, and how some people could zoom in on their life and call them losers, especially if they yes. don't make it. But when you hit the jackpot, you become a winner. Yes. So, uh, let me rephrase this. I will not throw him in the idiot bag for not having a car. Uh, I will throw him in any bag for asking me to come pick him up. That, but that is the question, is yeah. the means. Yeah. How do I go about getting this to happen? You know, right. how do I go about getting to these shows? There has to be some sort of thought process. So brothers should just start a GoFundMe account. We'll give it a look. Uh, just start a GoFundMe account to get a car. That's what brothers should do, bullet. I mean, we'll help out. But anyway, I got, I'm throwing him in any bag just because I took time to answer him questions. We ain't going to answer no more questions. Either you're going to do this or you're not, bullet. You see what I'm saying? And if there was a way to sneak through... Real through the cracks, I think me and you, with our great minds, would have figured that out. Mm -hmm. uh, we ain't figured it out yet. Maybe we're, but maybe we are doing it wrong. So, uh, anyway, folks. But we have a student right now who yeah. doesn't have a car. <laughs> he, he, he finds a way to make transportation yeah. happen every single time. Yeah. And actually, when you come to attendance, he's probably the highest in attendance yeah. at this school. He uh, totally doesn't agree. have a car, and he's figured out a way. And when he first started, he was on the other side of the coast. <laughs> he lived on the true. other side of the state. So oh, that's very true. You have, to, you have to at least give him credit for that. Yes. And at no point in time did he ever ask for us a ride. Yeah. So maybe I'm really throwing him. Maybe, we're maybe I'm really throwing this guy an idiot bag because we didn't think of this first. Yeah. I think that, that's why he's really, forget everything else that's happened here tonight. We're going to throw him in idiot bag because he come up with this idea before we did. Okay. And there's just a tad bit of jealousy there. Okay. okay. So anyway, he still will go in the idiot bag. Okay. Yes. Uh, just remember, we got to come up with these ideals first, boy. So yeah. uh, folks, great, great holidays. Listen, uh, what we hope that uh, you can get stuffed on turkey, but what we hope you get stuffed on, uh, because it's got plenty of uh, stuff in it. This is the second greatest book of all time, which is, is just behind this poster for my show on December 2nd. If you want more information about that show, you can you can follow me on Twitter, but also to make sure you log on to highspots.com to help me pay those bills for those the house that I've secured and the yeah. transportation that I've secured. Make sure you log on to highspots.com, especially with all the Black Friday deals. But of course, yes. so I know more about this show December 2nd. You make sure you log on to Twitter why log on. Just, just follow me at That's Manscout right. Manning on Instagram or on Twitter at Manscout Manning. This has been another edition Great of show. Dad You Don't Work, You Rest. Happy Thanksgiving. There Good job, go. Bullet. Stumble Good job. Stumble and bumble there. Oh, got, we, we, that's okay. We, got, we, we, we pulled it off. I, I, well, when I see your grandbabies jumping off the top rope, I get a little concerned. It's all right. <laughs> we, had, we just had that time bonding. A Axel saying, catch me, catch me. Just, oh, yeah. just, uh, I, yeah. We had that moment bonding <laughs> at the beginning of the show. You, you can look, see the look on my face. I was thrilled but to do they it. They actually you know? climbed up there. Well, I, I don't climb up there. But they actually climbed up there better than I did. Uh -huh. I'm gonna, it's oh, like boy. you at Pageland when you wrestled Barbarian. <laughs> But you got a memory of a camel. I'm just ain't it, ain't it the camel that's got a good memory? It's elephant. Yeah, oh, the elephant. I'm sorry. <laughs>